It's Friday, October 23rd, 2009. This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. The Chinese Nationals featured a few more fast swims today, one of which resulted in a new Asian record in the women's 800 free. Chen Qian, just 16 years old, she swam in 820.36, more than three seconds faster than the former record set back in 2004. Chen also posted a fast 400 free earlier this week with an Asian record of 402.35. Also doing well in Jinan, Zhao Jiwei posted a 51.24 in the men's 100 fly, just a couple of tenths slower than the Asian record set last month. And one of the controversial times that was swum by the Chinese back at the 1994 World Championships, almost wiped out by Zhao Jing in the women's two back. Zhao swam a 207.57, about two tenths slower than the time swum by He Si Hong 15 years ago. He was later kicked out of the sport for a positive drug test. And we have footage of Li Zhiga's amazing 200 fly world record that was set earlier this week. As you can see, Lu took out the race fast, buried the field by the third 50 on her way. Just an amazing time of 201.8. Our readers have been very vocal about their opinions regarding this swim. They posted them on our reaction time comments section. You can just go to swimmingworld.com to read them and again just see that race for yourself. This will clearly be one of those elusive world records probably for a long long time. That actually is part of this week's poll question if you want to weigh in on that. Will this world record time 2018 last as long as Mary T. Maher's 200 fly world record did 18 years? So that's the poll question for this week. Again, just go to swimmingworld.com. Well, the Chinese Nationals concludes on Saturday with the finals of the women's 50 free in which Li Jingji's Asian record that's also lasted 15 years is in jeopardy. Again, we'll have complete results on our website. And back here in the U.S., Dara Torres had a long but successful surgery this week to repair damage to her knee. Torres spoke to Reuters from her hospital bed in Boston saying that the post-surgery recovery it's been tough, but she's still optimistic about her road to full strength. Well, high school seniors making calls to universities across the country, making their verbal commitments. Arizona got a top female swimmer in Margot Gear, who would have qualified in the 50 and 100 freestyles last March. Just yesterday, Auburn, they got a call from Haley Krakowski, who will move to Alabama next fall. And John Wojcikowski from Phoenix, he's going to give Michigan a boost in the Sprint Butterfly next year. He will be featured on Monday's Tip of the Week right here on the Morning Swim Show. His coach, Dave Gibson, will break down John's butterfly. So again, that's Monday on the Tip of the Week. And most of the top college teams will be in action this weekend. Auburn uh, starts their season today with a trip to LSU. And Stanford will race in their annual alumni meet. And Georgia, they open their season today with a dual meet against North Carolina. For college dual meet results, just go to our college channel at SwimmingWorld.com. And that's it for the news today. Enjoy the weekend. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.